Volvo has certainly taken its time developing this one, hasn't it? To be precise, it has been 13 years since the first generation XC90 was put into production, leaving this second gen flagship SUV with some pretty big shoes to fill. If or not the new model has been able to upstage its predecessor's lasting reputation as a safe and dependable people carrier is exactly what we're here in Gothenburg, Sweden, to find out specifically. The top-shelf XC90 twin-engine plug-in hybrid of Volvo Cars Malaysia has ticked to become available for us. But first, a quick reality check of the model standing. As the BMW X5 is known for its dynamic handling, so too is the Audi Q7 praised for its handsome styling. Likewise, the new Mercedes-Benz GLE seems a little bit preoccupied with trying to become an X5 itself, while a Range Rover would be the one you'd bet on to complete a Dakar rally straight out of the factory, whilst offering just as much luxury as any of the above-mentioned vehicles. Volvo's seven-seat entry, on the other hand, has garnered for itself the reputation of being the safe bet, in the most littoral sense of the term for all its occupants, and even those around it. Its groundbreaking developments in that area has paved the way since 2002 for other model to copy and catch up. Naturally, they all have Volvo may have developed many industry firsts for its XC90, with one example being a roll stability control system it introduced in 2003. Today, it's not surprising that several versions of similar systems and more have crept into the market and become available on its fiercest competitors. Which leaves the latest Gen XC90 we've come to review here with not only the big shoes of its predecessor to fill, but also a mountain to climb against its revolutionized peers. But this is Volvo, and if recent times have anything to add, it's that the Swedish car maker has developed a Midas touch for itself, riding on a liberating wave of newfound Chinese backing, under the financial stewardship of car maker Chile.